Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. So I want to share something with you guys that happened to me um, about 48 hours ago. So right outside my house there's this um, group of bees and wasps that decided to build their nest. And somehow, subhanAllah, they were able to find their way into my bathroom. I walked in and this tiny, tiny bee, not one of the bigger ones, it just attacked me and stung me on my bone in my thumb. Now, those of you who know me personally know how tall I am. I'm really big. The amount of pain that not just the bee, but this thing that you can barely see with your eyes that it put me through in the past 48 hours from wheezing, swelling, I couldn't move my entire arm, the itching, I couldn't even sleep, subhanAllah. It really put things into perspective for me. So many times we as human beings feel that we're self-sufficient, you know, everything's going for us. And we tend to forget that, you know, Everything is in the hand of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that we are nothing if we as human beings who are fully functioning, right, and something this small could make us go in a split of a second, it really makes you stop and think. And it reminds me of a beautiful hadith about staying humble, right? And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, or the hadith says on Abdullah ibn Mas'ud that the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, the one who has in his heart the weight of, an, of a mustard um, seed, the weight of a mustard seed, which is very, very small, of arrogance, does not enter Jannah. Imagine, this tiny, this much of arrogance, or feeling that you're self-sufficient, that you don't need anybody, you forget that your true reliance is on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you don't enter Jannah. SubhanAllah, many times Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends us things like this, don't let it go by. Stop and ask yourself, what is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala trying to teach me, right? When you are in a position where you are in, you know, a high status or, you know, um, you have money or health, whatever it is, don't ever use these things, right, to oppress or tempt you or push you to oppress those around you. But instead, use these things to make you more humble and be a person of service for those around you, right? It's very, very important that we stop at everything that happens in our lives and contemplate. For me, it was a reminder that day, subhanAllah, for the first time in many years, something happened and I totally forgot to say my adhkar, specifically my dua, you know, the, the quls and everything, and bismillah la yadurru ma asmi shayam fil fil sama'a, totally slipped my mind. And subhanAllah, I felt like it was a little nudge, you know, like from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminding me, like whatever happens, always set your priorities straight and, you know, make sure you say your adhkar. So that was for me. I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that you guys always kind of like are aware and alert to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's messages to you and that you stay humble and always, 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 always keep that arrogance far away from you, you know, and remember that we're so tiny, such a tiny thing, so much pain, or could even make us, God forbid, go. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Ya Rabbi, protect you all, Ya Rabbi, inshallah, and take from our, all our hearts any kind of arrogance, Ya Rabbi, so that we may be written from the people of Jannah. Ameen, ameen, Ya Rabbi, al-alameen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.